Looking at a map of Central Asia, you might conclude that Tibet is nothing more than a region of China, a mountainous section within a sprawling superstate. But until recently, Tibet was an independent country with its own unique geography, language and culture. Politically, it may belong to China, but the hearts and minds of its people are as independent as they have ever been. Bagdro, a Tibetan monk from Ganden Monastery, and Len Worley, a psychologist from Florida, are meeting to discuss Bagdro's story, a tale of suffering and survival that begins in Tibet and ends with Bagdro's self-imposed exile in India. He cannot now safely return to the country of his birth or his family. So Bagdro stays in India and tells of his experiences, a story that begins 20 years before he was born. In 1949, the communists finally took control in China. Under the leadership of Chairman Mao, they began to implement their expansionist policy. And in 1950, 80,000 Chinese soldiers invaded Tibet. In time, it became clear that China would not honor a formal agreement safeguarding Tibetan culture. And so, on March 10, 1959, the people of Tibet rose up in rebellion. The Chinese crackdown was a bloodbath and thousands of Tibetans were massacred. The Dalai Lama was forced into exile in India, followed across the Himalaya by many of his people. Since then, the Chinese have destroyed thousands of monasteries and killed hundreds of thousands of Tibetans. Despite this oppression, the desire for freedom has never been extinguished. The Tibetans' determination for self-rule has been as firm as the mountains. Bagro's story is a familiar one. Before you went into the monastery, yes. what, what did you do? I just do a village, a farmer. You were a farmer in a village yes. with your family? Yes. And then I had this for no school, nothing. You didn't go to school? No school. There wasn't a school. But this maybe Chinese, one school is open, only teach Chinese language. No teach Tibetan culture, no teach Tibetan culture. Did you go to that Chinese speaking school? Yes. But I don't know. This, this time. This time I told you, I don't know Tibetan culture. I don't know what is Tibet. I don't know what is Dalai Lama. I don't know what is Tibetan Buddhism. Yeah, you were not aware of the culture that had, had been destroyed. I know only Mao. I know Chinese government. You only knew the Chinese. Yes, I know Mao uh -huh, That's all. You were born during that time. Yes. Then I, because my father, they know Tibetan Buddhism. They know the Tibetan culture, but they not teach me. Father, very scared, Chinese government. I not go to school. I'm begging. You're begging for food? Yes, my, my father, me, and then other village people. We go to Lhasa, the Chinese restaurant, begging. Go to the restaurants yes. in Lhasa? Yes, begging, Chinese restaurant. Uh -huh. Because the Chinese come to bed. Force it, the Chinese people come to bed. Nothing. Just only small bag, only cup. That's all. The Chinese government. They give Tibetan people in Lhasa some shop, restaurant, this taken. They give Chinese, Chinese, new Chinese people. So the restaurants were given to the new Yes, these poor Chinese, Chinese. Tibetan people are taken. They give huge Chinese people. Tibetan people finished because of nothing. And then this time also many Pudala Palace. Bodala Palace, Bodala uh -huh. Palace for Chapman Temple, the main temple. The Chinese always make it this museum. Museum built there. We go this inside for the temple. They buy it. sometimes they pay Chinese five Chinese yen. Chinese money pay ticket. We buy a ticket. Just go museum. Uh, Bagra, with these difficulties uh, and the intimidation from, from the Chinese, why did you decide to go into the monastery? After some, maybe 83. In 83? Before no religious freedom, nothing. No monk, no religious, nothing. Just only teach Mao stories. After 1983, since 1983, the, 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 the Tibetan government exam, they talk for international, for Europe's American talk, Tibetan situation, what happened. And then this is fresh come Chinese government. 
And then China, this point, international government talked about no religious freedom, Tibet, no human right. And then Chinese keep leader religious freedom, only leader. Uh -huh. And then maybe start some maybe monastery. And what was the reason that you decided to become a monk? I go monastery first time food. Reason. For food? Yes. No, no religious, nothing, no culture. For the first time? It's just only food. And then I go monastery. As I said, I talked to my family. I said, now I go monastery, very difficult, I'm very hungry house. And then they make this to little religious key freedom. Then I go monastery. I go monastery first, monastery, I work, restaurant. Monastery, restaurant, I work. You worked in the restaurant of the monastery? Yes, I work. Okay. Then also I make a new building, monastery. You helped build a new building yes, at maybe. the monastery? Yes. And then this time, no religious studies, just only monk class, no learning. You were not studying, you were working. Yes, and then some uh, they give monastery in the monk's room, Chinese Mao picture. They give Mao picture. So you had a picture of, of Mao rather than of the Dal Dalai Lama? No Dalai Lama picture, Mao picture. Right. In the 87, there, two American people came, they give me Dalai Lama book. His autobiography? Yes, the man and my people. Uh, from two American tourists? Tourists. So they secretly gave this? They gave me book, this book. Because this time, maybe 83, maybe 84, leader changed border. Changed the open border. The border was open for foreigners? Yes. yes. And then come many foreigners to bed. Yeah. Then this time, two American people said, they come here. Yeah, I go monastery, I, have some, I, I read a book. But with this, with this book, I learned in the mountain. Well, this was dangerous to be reading this book, was it? Yes, of course, they just, but I'll, I'll first I'll, I'll learn Buddha book, Buddhist, I'll learn the book. I go monastery my mountain, how, very close to my house, their mountain, and there are two American tourists making picture of me. They said, come here. Uh -huh. Then I go there, they said, we, we give you a very special present for you. Then I said, why can I give me a present? This lady, she speaks Tibet language. Uh -huh. She said, I'll give you this book. Be very careful, but this book is very interesting for you. You change your life. Then I'm really very angry at China. As you read the book? Yes. I also cry this book because it's Dalai Lama. He's not living in the freedom of his own, his own country. He's, then I understand that Dalai Lama is really a human being. He's a Tibet leader. In the evening, I wrote in Free Tibet, along that Dalai Lama, Chinese out of Tibet now. Making many, many write. You wrote a letter? Yes, letter. A hanging post. Where did you post this letter? It's probably hanging this monastery in the wall. At the outside. monastery? Yes, outside. Uh -huh. I hang in many in the night, 12 o'clock, I hang in this. Were you aware of the consequences of speaking out? No, yeah. speaking out. But first I write this speech. Did you sign your name? No, I signed. Uh -huh. This is... Uh, but you knew that this would cause trouble? Yes. Yeah. But this is... Uh -huh. I not put my name. I just hang in many poster, free to bed, long like that, long Chinese out. I put my village, I put my monastery, I put the Chinese office in the evening, hang in many poster. And what caused you to, to be imprisoned? And then in the 87 for protest for beginning for Lhasa, for Debu Monastery, September 27. And uh, we like the protest for freedom, peaceful. The monks protested? Yes. In the 87, Debu Monastery, other monastery, Sera Monastery, and then Nan, the public big protest for Lhasa. And we have support this demonstration very typical. My monastery and the Lhasa's very far. So there were a lot of people with you yes. protesting? Yes, not this, not my monastery. My monastery, Gandhi. The other monastery, Debu monastery. At another monastery? Sara right? monastery. Yes. Then in 1987 start. Because Debu monastery, Sara monastery, very close Lhasa. And then in 1988, and then March 5th, for big morning festival. So what happened? And they put protest for kill, take prison. In his book, Bagru writes, 
At around 11 a.m., the Chinese opened fire into the crowd, and I was shot in the foot. But by this time, I had lost all fear. I was very angry, and bullets were coming very close to me. We set fire to their vehicles, but the bullets continued to fly into us like rain. By this time, the soldiers were also using tear gas, and many people were shot and injured. Badra, how was it that you were finally caught? And after this, uh, my family is making Chinese very big trouble. Every time Chinese officer come, Chinese right. police come, Chinese Chinese CIA come, my family. Come. You were aware that your family was being. Yes. Did you? Then also come Chinese security service come my family's house, always asking for me, big trouble. And then I go to my family's house, and then the the lady eighty eight apple eighteen the morning attack prison. They come Chinese police come my family's house. So you were soon found yes, as soon as you returned to your yes. family. Then I take a handcuff. Handcuffed. Very bad. This is like automatic handcuff. Automatic yes. handcuffs. They don't move they, because it's it and the handcuffs made made a tree like tea. It has teeth, so it so it tightens yes. with the movement. Move, and then little move move. They come all go inside. Yeah. Very it pain. Painful. Yes, the painful. They beating here for gun. This bit here, then they all come their face blood. And they take in prison. Take a monastery, one other monks, me. They took other monks from the monastery? Yes, because the monastery they live in Chinese police office. They come in, I think twenty five living police, they also live in many army Chinese. They take in this office. The twenty five police beating me. All the high speed Chinese police. Mm. They come with my nose, mouth, all the blood. And taking other monks me, taking prison. Then they hanging the tree. They hung you from a tree? Yes, they cut stick. Very bad stick. Then nothing, no jacket, nothing. And the bird is very strong, it was just beat. And they take the prison. This is false prison, good prison. Good sir. And then I take prison, they ask him, they take picture of me, the police office, which the prison office, the pictures, name, and the age finished. How old were you then? Twenty years old. Yes, Tw Twenty? Yes. And I saw this inside prison, this good prison. What did you see? I saw many, many devoted people hanging on the wall. On the wall, yes. hanging? Yes, the beat. All the people blood, some people I saw many. Not. How many people did you see? Like I this? see this is for four people, and they beat beating because this is also political prisoners. There's some people cry. They said, "Please help me, mom." Calling for their mother. Yes, please help me, mom. I'm really this is look like hell. But how how did this affect you when seeing this for the first time? I'm really very sad. I'm very scared. This is the beginning then of prison. a prison for three years? Yes, the beginning of prison. Yeah. For three years? Yes. And then I see this for every day, dodges. I see these people. And then I'm not asleep. All night I'm not asleep. You couldn't sleep because of what you had seen and yeah. because of your body. Yeah. yeah. Then I just have this sleep. Because I sleep, they come. Police beating me. When you try to sleep? Yes. I just stay outside this. Because there are many, many in the groups, many Chinese soldiers, soldiers, the machine gun. And then the mob, they give me food, very, very dirty food. Polluted food, you mean? Very bad food, mm -hmm. very dirty. Mm -hmm. Need a soup, vegetable soup. Mm -hmm. Inside, many, what say this? Bugs? Bugs, many, many. Then they give me small Timor, that's all. Very handy. In the morning, the interrogation for me start. The interrogation started in the morning? Yes. How long did this go on? How many days? How yes. many weeks? Every day, every one, one day, three times interrogation. One day, three times interrogation. They come three times a day? Yes. yes. They are asking for me how many give Dalai Lama's money for you. 
How many pay Dalai Lama for you? How many pay American pay for you money? How many times sent the Tibetan government is that sent for you? So they were trying to connect you with a larger yes. uh, plan or movement? Yes. How many people together is going to mm -hmm. talk? I said nothing, just me. Bhagdra, what was the most difficult time during this imprisonment? This time. What, what was the hardest time? This time. Right in the beginning was the hardest yes. time. During the interrogation. Yes. Then, very, very, then I talked, nobody not give me money. Nobody not pay money. Nobody not give me a document. Right, you denied this. Just me, I said. Oh. Then the child is very strong. It was just for me, very angry. Chinese. Electric shock in my mouth. Electric shock put in your mouth. mouth. And then it's brought to come blood to my nose. Come the uh, mouth blood. Internal bleeding. Yes, then it's sometimes hanging. The two electric shock put very strong in my heart. Very pain and sad just this pain. Sometimes electric shock here in my ear. On your ears? Yes, sometimes this is put very strong inside here. And then it's a bit stick. So they hang one hand here, one hand here. And then a very strong bit stick. This sometimes in Tibet very cold. Very cold. The weather was cold. Yes, then it's cold. Then also hanging me and outside prison. Outside. It's all night. Sometimes more close, then put cold water making us body. Very cold. This is torches, every day, torches, very strong. Every day. Yes, you know, sometimes no, no shoes, no socks. You know, the Tibet us. Eyes. Us, they stay here. 45 minutes, us. You know, all is lively. Your Slay. skin stuck to the ice. Yes. Then the Chinese police come fish. Then many, they come blood. To tear your skin. Your skin. And then some are very hungry, eating it. Teeth brush, we eat in soap. Eating. And eating drink. soap. And drinking my urine. And drinking urine. Yes. For, for lack of food yes. and water. Yeah. The last time the Chinese police woman is coming, she she asking for me, you kill police. Chinese police. She accused you of killing a police. I said, I'm not killed, I have my hand, no, no gun, nothing. I just peace for demonstration. He said, you kill police. I said, nothing. Then she said, tell me how many pay Dalai Lama's money. How many groups for the Asa? The talk. same question. Said, if you don't talk, I will kill you. They said, God here. And I don't think anything was said. Then Chinese police woman, she smoked piece. Put my face, cigarette, this. Mm -hmm. Put a cigarette in your face? Yes, put this. Then also my family come. They said, kill me, prison. I'm killed, prison. This is for four months very strong dodges. Because the four months of this kind of torture? Yeah. Then, after this prison, one year, prison me. Well, I saw this also my friend, many people. So the torture stopped? Yeah. But you were in prison for a year? And then after one year, uh, this is prison, I stayed this prison, this mm -hmm. is a prison. This term, 400 Tibetan British. Tibetan people prisoners. With you? Yes, this prison. Mm -hmm. You know, only Chinese, maybe 25 people prisoners, more than Tibetan people. And after I stayed one year in this prison, we are transported not prison, Tachi prison. This is very bad prison also. This is prison for, I think, 500 people for prisoners, Tibetan people. Chinese, only 25 people. So this prison, more Tibetan people. Mm -hmm. And I stayed this prison two two years. Two years in that prison. Yes, because the, the Chinese also very bad torches inside. They teach more stories. We have learned communists. And after two years, um, this prison, the Chinese also taking blood of the Tibetan people. Taking blood yes. for blood transfusions. Yes, because they give the Chinese artists a very poor body. They give this blood. Uh -huh. Not taking Chinese people blood prisoners, only taking Tibetan people. Mm -hmm. In that time, we spent two pe one people dead in the prison, my friend, because too much taking blood and then drugs. And then, and then uh, after two years, then the Chinese said, No, you are released from prison. You released prison because I'm dead, almost dead of me also. 
Rogers. Because of your help? Yes. So this is a total of three years yes. that you were in prison, and yes. then you were released? And then it was 90, 91. 91? 91. I'm prison free. Released. This was a surprise to you? Yeah, no, because I don't remember my, my mind. Crazy. Because it's lost, this crazy me. No surprise. But I don't know what is called free me, because I don't know, because me is lost my mind. Because I'm almost dead. This time my body 39 kilos. 39 kilos. Yes, because I'm almost dead. Because I'm dead inside prison. Amnesty International is making trouble. Chinese government. All the world. Where did you go? This is you got out. This is what making me free. The other political prisoners dead. The Chinese government make a big trouble. Because they, they said the political prisoners kill Chinese government. I stay here one month, the my, my Tibetan friend said, they give me donations, they said, you must go to India. You go to India. Why did they want you to go to India? Because they talk. Tibetan government, Dalai Lama, international human rights. Your friends wanted you to go to India so yes. that you could talk. They said, they said, give me money. You Now you go to uh -huh. India because you know prison. Uh -huh. Three years, what happened in the prison? Uh -huh. They said, you must go to India, talk to Dalai Lama, talk to Tibetan government, talk to Amnesty International, talk to Tibetan support group, talk to human rights. You must go. They pay money for me, donation. You know, 1,000 UN, and I escaped India. I walk in three months. How did you get here? I walk in three months in my life, you? Alone? No, one, seven, 70 people together. 70? Yes, people together. So a group of you left? Yes. I walked in Himalaya mountain three months with group. In his book, Bagdro writes, Soon we got into the mountains where it was very rough and cold and I became sick. I was in a lot of pain. Blood was coming from my nose and mouth. Then we came into the high mountains and it was so difficult for me that the others had to carry my things and help me along. It was also dangerous and steep with falling rocks and landslides. We saw yaks along the way that had frozen to death. After I come here, then I go to hospital because it's problem. My pain, kidney, pain, my ribs, all the pain. I'm very small, just skin. Now eating so much food. Uh -huh. I go to the hospital. They put me glucose. 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 I put this oxygen. I stay two months in this hospital. Then after that, another hospital, Tibet Medical Institute. Mm -hmm. I stay one month. Then I go to go French hospital one year. You were at a French hospital for yeah. a year? One year, because this French president, ex-president Mitterrand's wife. Yes, Mitterrand's wife. She had me take the hospital. Uh -huh. And I stay one year's hospital, medical treatment. After this is much better, then I go to Europe, South America, all the country, I give lectures. What happened to this like prison the stories? But what has happened inside of you? I mean, you, your body had to heal initially. Now it's better. Yes. And you look healthy now. Yeah. And then... But what has happened in your mind in the, in, the, in the nine years that you've been away? Before I come first time here, I had a bad dream in the prison. Many bad dreams? Yes, in some prison. Of, of what happened in the prison? That's what you were dreaming of? Yes, then I'm sent to kill me, sent to kill many people, sent to me. It's very scary dream. It's kind of, then I wake up, then I'm really all hot. Then I'm morning, I'm very angry. Did you have anyone to talk to? Yes, talk, but this nothing helped me. Yeah. It's very strong to sick me this time. Yeah. And then I to go to French hospital, the mental hospital. Yes. It's a college hospital. They have me do much better. This talking, they show a very beautiful place, very peaceful place. They always talk, talk. the one year. They had you talk about what happened. Yes. Is that right? Of course, so many. And sometimes they show me very nice place, very peaceful place. Yeah. And then little, little can change. Yes. Then you begin to change. It's better. Bagdro's ordeals may seem like a lesson from the past. But today, for many Tibetans, they are an ongoing reality. To help draw attention to this abuse of human rights, Bagdro has written a book about his experiences. While China increasingly develops its links to the world community and the global economy, 
it continues to torture and murder Tibetans. And so Bagro, to keep these atrocities on the agenda, continues to tell his story. Bagro, thank you for doing the interview. I hope a lot of people will learn much more of what's happened in Tibet because of our conversation today. Today, there are still over 350 political prisoners in Tibet, suffering the same conditions as Bagro. How long will it be until this peace-loving and spiritual people return to their rightful freedom in Tibet, land of the snows?